Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. And in front of us we have a number of wireless devices that you'll find in an American home. And this one over here is a Wi-Fi router. And then here we have two cordless telephones. These are on the decked system. A couple of cell phones here. And this is a garage door status monitor. It tells you whether your garage door is open or closed. And these are a couple of weather station wireless transmitters. So these are the things that give you the outdoor relative humidity and temperature on your weather systems. So we're going to test all of these systems with this radiation meter. So this is a radio field signal strength meter. So let's turn it on and see how we're doing. And these readings are in millivolts per meter. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to let this reading settle down. It's a little bit high right now. So something in the area is actually broadcasting. Okay. So we've actually settled down. The broadcast is gone. So let's start the test. And we're going to start off with Wi-Fi. So I'm going to plug in the Wi-Fi unit. And the thing to know about Wi-Fi is that it, it constantly broadcasts. And it broadcasts uh, a very high power level for your home, particularly near the unit. And you need to be very, very careful sighting these units. So the Wi-Fi has just come on, as we can see by the green light on the front. And also by our meter, and the scale has changed to volts per meter. So just a few inches away from the Wi-Fi unit, you actually get 3.6 volts per meter. It's a very high signal strength, and it's something to be aware of with Wi-Fi. Our next test is going to see what these two phones are doing. So let's wait for the signal to die down. Okay, so our signal is back down to normal levels. And I'm simply going to press the talk button. So we can see that we've got very high power levels. We're at 2.5 millivolts per meter. Or I should say 2.5 volts per meter. And you can see that right around where your head would be is the highest signal strength. So let's try the next phone. So we're going to put it on to talk. And there's our signal strength. So about 2.5 volts per meter again. So I'm not going to look at the cell phones. Cell phones are very well established as having very high power levels, particularly next to the human head. So we're going to move on to this. This is a garage door controller. And if we tilt it, it's normally mounted in that position. There we go, we see the signal on our meter. And this one is putting out maybe about 800, very close to it. In fact, almost 1,000 millivolts per meter when you're up close to it. So every time your garage door opens or closes, this little device is sending a signal to the receiver in the house through wireless communications. So the next two, we need to put the batteries in. So let's see the meter stabilized back down to a normal level. And there we go. So these little devices, they actually broadcast quite frequently. And they seem to broadcast about once every 10 seconds or so, as we can see here. So every time this connects with your weather station in the house, it's sending a little surge of wireless radiation through your home. And I should mention that all these devices all operate on different frequencies. 
So when you've got a wide range of devices like this in your home, you also have a very wide range of frequencies going through your home. So I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to put the battery in the other weather station. So you can see that once you get a wide variety of these devices operating in your home, you start getting a wide variety of power levels. I'm going to plug in the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi normally takes a few seconds to boot up and turn on the wireless signal. And as soon as we see the green light on here, we should see Wi-Fi. So there's the Wi-Fi unit on. And finally, let's turn on the cell phone for the home, the wireless phone. So you can see it's, it's very easy to get very high power levels in your home. And this is called radio wave sickness. That's what it does to the human body. And if the power levels get too high, you're going to start developing radio wave sickness. And radio wave sickness has a wide ranging variety of symptoms, but it's very hard to diagnose because those symptoms are so wide ranging. And if you want to find out more about radio wave sickness, uh, microwave sickness, and radiation sickness, you'll find it in this book. It's called Toxic Electricity, and you will find that there's many, many people reporting sickness that they've traced to these devices. And uh, if you have some miscellaneous symptoms that you don't understand where they're coming from, I would recommend that you start looking at your wireless devices. I hope you enjoyed the presentation, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.